Last night, stayed at a Harvest Host location, a golf course outside of Mobile, Alabama. Spent all day Battleship Memorial Park. More coming on that. Tonight, staying overnight. Casino, <laughs> just outside of Biloxi, Mississippi. Let me tell you about it. In today. My name is Scott. I am your host. This is Go Small Live Large. Really appreciate you tuning in today. Uh, we are uh, we are a YouTube channel dedicated to uh, the RV lifestyle, living in a van, my 2019 Winnebago Travato GL for lithium. Fulda, thank you very much. Which means that I make my own electricity as I drive around. I have not been plugged in for several days now. Just want to share with you why Harvest Host was my number one recommendation for 2019. That's because last night I stayed at a golf course parking lot. It was absolutely perfect. What the Harvest Co Host often does is it brings me to places that I wouldn't necessarily go or stop. Uh, Mobile, very cute town. I noticed the um, USS Alabama. It's a battleship from the World War II era. That is now a, look at Luke's getting all exercise. Are you in werewolf mode, Luke? Huh? Say hello, Luke. Yep, he's in werewolf mode. <laughs> and uh, I just want to share with you, uh, again, I went to their parking lot. It's four bucks to get into the uh, into the park. And then it's $15 to get into the, into the um, exhibit. And so for $19, I had an amazing day. Again, would never have happened without the RV lifestyle. And I um, want to share with you some of the images and some of the things I've discovered on both the, the battleship, uh, USS Alabama, and the USS Drum, that was it, the, the submarine. I had never been on a submarine before. Question for you, when's the last time you were on a warship? When's the last time you were on a submarine?
so it is it's the one of the original power generation pure three lithium from volta systems charging station that'd be the engines the engines would generate electricity which will go into the battery bank and i'm looking for the big green button Instead, we get a whole lot of buttons, whole lot of gauges, make electricity. So hope you enjoyed that little tour of the USS Drum, a submarine that operated during World War II. If you're going through Mobile, Alabama, you got to stop and look at the USS Alabama battleship and the USS Drum. If you're into military history, uh, war history, war machines, uh, this definitely is something uh, I would put on your list. Um, I've never been in a submarine before, so that was my first time, and I was really really impressed um, she held a crew of 72 people would go on patrol for uh, two months at a time but did have to surface every night to replenish the air to run the diesel motors that charged the batteries and when they were on heavy patrol or in danger of being spotted they would submerge but they did not stay submerged all the time mostly rode along the surface just a fascinating thing and again this is just one of the beautiful things about RV lifestyle is I've been working from the parking lot um, even did a work lunch and learn presentation from the parking lot and now that it's at day's end I'm doing some uh, exploration uh, USS drum keep up not sure what that thing is we did the uh, Alabama look at this over here you got a b52 and Lily Lily's right there Grab your RV freedom.